The city of Pittsburgh is set in one of the most beautiful settings in the entire country. It's three rivers coming together, it's green hillsides on either side, it is nestled in all of that natural beauty. And because of the efforts of architects and planners, the city steps back. When you come through the Fort Pitt tunnels, you see that wonderful front door that is the city of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh as a blend of old and new architecture. It's nice to see that every kind of architecture has its own space here in Pittsburgh. It's a city that has a strong charm, a lot of historic buildings, neighborhoods that evolved over time, yet we're also known for technological development. Pittsburgh has this wonderful ability to respect what's traditional and introduce what's new. The past personality of architecture in Pittsburgh is one of the great architects of the, of the turn of the century in early America here. And I'd say the architecture of the future of Pittsburgh is also a bright place. Uh, this is one of the one of the great opportunities for green building in this country. It's sort of a showcase as to how to redevelop land and make it significant. I'll be honest that I don't often think of the role of architects in my life and I think that's probably a good thing because if a building is pleasing to me in the way that it looks and the way that it functions and the architect probably did his or her job very well. Buildings frame our experience. You know, we're inside a building 90% of the time, and we probably often overlook or don't realize the quality of the spaces we're in. But when you are in a beautiful space, you walk in and see a great lobby or a view or you view out, you appreciate it. People think about architects designing buildings. In fact, architects do a lot more than that. Architects do design buildings, but they also design towns. They also design the way towns function, where people live, how neighborhoods are laid out, how communities come together. One of the cool things about Pittsburgh is it's, it's really a, a great melting pot and a mixture of different styles. Depending on what neighborhood you go to, it could look like New York, it could look like Detroit, it could look like any Midwestern city or else it could look like something a lot more cosmopolitan. And there are very few cities that have such a diverse type of architecture. A lot of people think that architects design buildings, but it's much more than that. Architects make spaces and places, indoor and outdoors. And I think architecture at its best blends artistic vision, technical skill, and social awareness. Pittsburgh is a leader in the green building movement, sustainable design. Um, we have this great tradition of being aware of pollution and abuses of our environment, and there's a lot of people here who are very committed to making sure that the materials we use are uh, environmentally friendly, the environments that we build, the buildings that we design are safe places for people to live and work. So there is a, a huge opportunity for people to develop products, ways of putting materials together, um, ways of using our building systems so that they are more efficient. And once again, Pittsburgh is a leader in that. But one thing that's uh, interesting about Pittsburgh is that there is um, a fairly large uh, stock of existing buildings. Um, we're in 
uh, what used to be a bus garage. And that gives you opportunities to reinvent and reinterpret things that are um, existing and sort of work within the existing fabric. Pittsburgh has been a leader. It's been a leader in sustainability for a number of reasons. We have organizations like the Green Building Alliance, AI Pittsburgh, River Life Task Force, the Heinz Foundation, uh, Sustainable Pittsburgh, who have absolutely committed themselves to the notion that this is going to be a leading city for sustainability. starting to see how architects can interact with the, the regional assets here, how Pittsburgh is a region in terms of our economy, academia, the natural environment, the lifestyle. We have a lot here. We've begun to recognize the importance not just of buildings but of water use, of, um, of power generation, of transportation, uh, of using uh, land use uh, sustainably and so I think we're, we're probably one of the leading cities. Everyone deserves to be inspired by their surroundings, whether it's the beauty of nature, the beauty of a town, the beauty of a bridge. Everyone deserves that inspiration in their lives. Good architecture is about good public art. It's a feast for the eyes, and we all deserve to have it.